Towns around the world can be strange. I've examined some of them so far on this channel, most of them being divided border towns. Today there's no borders involved, just the strangest town in Estonia. Firstly, Estonia is a country in Northern Europe and it is one of the three Baltic states. It has a population of 1.3 million, which is slowly declining. About one third of the Estonian population lives in its capital Tallinn, which is located in the north of the country on the Gulf of Finland and is well known for its medieval old town, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. To find the peculiar town for this video, we must move to Estonia's second largest city. Location in the southeast, Taishu is home to just under 100,000 people. It is sometimes regarded as the second capital of Estonia and it is home to the Supreme Court of Estonia and the country's oldest and most renowned university, the University of Taishu. The city of Taishu and the strange town which we will be talking about in a minute are located on the river Emmajoki, which translates to the Mother River. It joins two of Estonia's largest lakes, Vortsiyev and Lake Pipsi, which is divided with Russia. The Emmajoki is 100 km long and is Estonia's only fully navigable river. Now what you clicked on this video for? Just north of Taishu's botanical gardens on both banks of the Emmajoki is a suburb named Supalin. It is the smallest neighbourhood in Taishu and is home to just under 2,000 people. Many of its streets are named after various types of food such as pedesho, pea, bean, berry and melon. Mix all the vegetables together in a pot to make Supalin, which means soup town in Estonian. So why did this suburb end up with these names and what else is interesting about it? In the late 19th century, the level of the river Emiyogi subsided and left cheap but fertile land for low income housing and vegetable farming. Due to the number of gardens in the area, the locals decided to name each street after a vegetable. This then gave the suburb its name, Supalin or Soup Town. There's more to Soup Town than just food. Many people also moved to the boggy land to work in a local brewery. Supalin wasn't heavily bombed in the Second World War, allowing its pre-war wooden slum buildings to survive. They are one or two story buildings and a location in a maze of narrow, once muddy streets. There's no pattern or set colours with the buildings, they are just as random as the name of the streets and town. Once an unsafe slum, home to rogues and the less fortunate, the area is much safer today and is known for its creative and fun-loving residents. Many students come here for cheap accommodation. Supalin has their own newspaper and they celebrate their town with the Supalin Days Festival every spring that includes dance, drama, literature, music and art. Each year an award is given for the best renovated house, with the prize a plaque, with the prize a plaque to be displayed on the house for all to see. The historically important buildings are protected by the city and Supalin Society who also provides working toys of the area. Supalin even has its own flag. It looks very similar to the Lithuanian or Bulgarian one, but with beige instead of yellow and brown instead of red. The beige stands for gravel roads and firewood. The green stands for the greenery and the river Emiyogi. The brown stands for baguettes and dirt. A stolen flag prompted locals to fly the flag from their houses during Supalin days. If you want to visit Supalin, the nearest airport is Taishu Airport, but unless you're flying from Helsinki, you would either fly into Tallinn or Riga in Latvia. Tallinn Airport is about two and a half hours by car or public transport, while Riga is about three and a half hours by car and much longer by public transport. If you decide to drive from Riga to Taishu, you will drive through what could be Estonia's other strangest town, Valga and Valka, which is cut in half by the Estonian-Latvian border. If only I had a video on that. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any ideas for future videos, put them in the comment section below. Maybe we can come back in the future to find another one of Estonia's strangest towns. Subscribe for more on Ireland, Europe and the world.